Hello, my name is Nikisha Ware, and this is my video review of the top 10 tips to keep your brain young by Elizabeth Amini, uh, TED Talk. So Elizabeth Amini is a social entrepreneur with a background in science. She's a gamer. She creates games for profit and for fun. How cool is that? And her TED Talk is phenomenal. I enjoyed listening to it from beginning to end. It was uh, relational, informative, educational, and helpful. So this is the best anti-aging talk I have listened to, and I've been listening to them for a long time now. So I even downloaded words with friends, a puzzle app, and even space just to reconnect me to my childhood. So I encourage you to do the same. Please visit her site, antiaginggames.com, to get more ideas. Now to the meat. Let's talk about her focus on prevention rather than putting out fires and blocking systems. So here are 10 ways to do that. One, regulate exercise, maintain a, uh, a steady stream of exercise activities, freedom and indep independence are encouraged two to three times a week for 30 minutes. Number two, play mental and mentally engaging games, learn something new, learn a new dance, attend dance classes, even start a new language. Avoid poison and toxic things are number three, of course, like alcohol, smoking, and even toxic substances in your household products. Number four, being social. Spend more time with people that you enjoy their company. Number five, having a good purpose and right life direction is key in life. Number six, manage stress well. That goes without saying, we all know we could definitely use more time relaxing. And partner with a great doctor, preferably a prevention-oriented one. Number eight, protect your head from injury. Number nine, Mediterranean diets are encouraged in her TED Talk. And number 10, having a positive outlook. People that generally have a more positive outlook age better. They live healthier, happier, and longer lives. I really appreciate Elizabeth's generosity in presenting this research to us. But here are some uh, items that I would have added to the list. In number 11, physical contact, healthy connections with um, animals, people that involve touch, plants, all those things can be very helpful. And number 12, breathing, breathing deeply to ensure good oxygen, oxygen, oxygenation of the blood to your brain and all over your body. Of course, it goes without saying sleep well and get enough sleep. Number 14 for me is just taking sunlight baths daily. I love it. And number 15, drinking a lot of spring and alkaline water. All of these tips are free. They're easy to implement and you can start them today. So pick one or two that you can implement and execute as soon as possible. And let's get going, as Michelle Obama said. I would in, uh, encourage you to watch this video again. I actually watched it a couple of times, of course. And please share it with other people. This is definitely beneficial information that we can all execute and help our lives and help us to live longer, healthier lives. Thank you for this time listening. And I look forward to seeing you next week.